Hey tribe, so we are bringing you another review video on a Printify product. This time it's going to be about the Weekender bag. I have searched all over YouTube trying to find a review video on a bag or a backpack used from Printify or Printful, uh, Printful, excuse me, what is Printful? Um, so that I could see what the actual quality of the product would be if I were to feature it in a store of mine. So because I haven't found anything, any video on anything like that, I thought that it would be really, really helpful to actually make one for you guys to see just because it's something that I was wishing somebody would have done. But first things first, please go like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Also, if you haven't already seen it, please go and check out my boyfriend's review video on Printify versus Printful, his comparison on the printing on different kinds of t-shirts and the print quality. It has a lot of great information, but today we're gonna to be doing something on the Weekender bag specifically. Um, so the first thing that I actually wanted to point out for the bag is the print quality, because I'm sure that's the most important thing to anybody when they use drop shipping services, because you print your designs or whatever it is on a product. So when I first got the bag in the mail, I was actually very impressed with the print quality. Um, the color and the design came out so crisp and so vivid that I was just super happy with it. I didn't, I didn't know how it would turn out. I was afraid that it would come out dingy, less bright, a different color, not as detailed, but it actually came out really good. So this is my actual design. I did this on my iPad. I drew the flowers. I chose the color. So this dark blue color, I actually chose it in, um, Procreate, and that's the exact blue that I painted onto this design. So the fact that it came out um, just as bright and just as beautiful as how I see it on my screen in Procreate, that was super satisfying. I was really worried about the color. I purposely bought a sample of the darker color bag just to see how it would actually turn out because sometimes the transfer um, from the actual design to the um, the mock-up can be different when you print it physically so i was really happy to see that the color was exactly the same it's the beautiful blue that i wanted um, also every single flower that i drew on the design that i overlapped onto this product was super detailed in procreate and it actually printed out that way onto my weekender bag so as long as you follow the dimensions, it'll tell you. As long as you follow the dimensions and stay within the lines or the frame of the actual product that you're putting your design on, it seems to be that it'll turn out really good. Um, even some of the smaller flowers on here that I drew still have a lot of detail and they came out really good and really clean. So I was really happy about that. Um, the actual product itself, minus my design, it's pretty durable. It's, it's not like cheap. It doesn't feel like cheap quality. Uh, it doesn't feel like it'll break or tear apart easily, which is really good. If I sit it up for you, it's actually pretty big and wide, um, which is cool because it's a great weekender bag or a beach bag. I've actually used it a few times to go to the beach and it fits everything, towels, everything, even a small purse if you just didn't want to bring this along with you for the time being. But it's a great bag. I really like it. It's a cool product. So I'm on the Printify website. It says here that um, it is 100% spun polyester. It does have rope handles, which I think is really cute because it gives the bag a little bit of character, especially when it's a beach bag. It just makes it more beachy. I don't know. Um, but I really like that. That was really cute. It has these little uh, gold rings on it, which was also really cute. The bag itself just comes blank and white, obviously, because they print your designs on it. Um, and it's actually like really, really wide. So like I said that before, um, it does have laminated lining. So it's 50% cotton and 50% polyester, that ivory lining that you get on the inside. Um, my lip gloss gotta stay shining ladies shining is the only way that you stay successful and if you can see my highlight fenty beauty fenty beauty for life okay so this lining in here is actually 50 percent cotton and 50 percent polyester 
it feels really good. It feels really, you know, like durable. Like you can really put some stuff in this bag and not worry about anything poking through or ruining your bag. Um, it's just a really nice color too. I mean, it's clean, so that was nice. The actual outside of the bag, um, it's 100% spun polyester, like I said before. So that that part of it, if you could feel it, it feels really thick. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break. So that was cool. And then I mentioned the rope handles. For the actual dimensions, um, it is 24 inches in length and it is 13 inches in width and in depth it's 5.52 inches. So it's actually really big, you can fit a lot of stuff in it like I said before. Um, and the handle height is 11.42 inches. So it's just a really cool bag, I really like it. Um, I've used it a couple times, I put a bunch of stuff in it, really cool. And it's cute too, I love it. One really good idea that uh, my boyfriend came up with with was spraying it with Scotchgard because if it's a bath that you take to the pool or the beach, you wanna make sure that it's not going to, you know, get all soaked up and ruin everything in it. So I've actually sprayed this with Scotchgard so it could be somewhat water resistant. It worked pretty well and I really like that because I do intend on using this a lot. So that was a really good idea, cool tip. I just think that they did a really good job when printing my design on their product. I was super worried that it was going to come out maybe a lot less vivid and pretty than what I hoped for, but it didn't at all. I'm actually really satisfied and really impressed with the product. So that was cool. Um, I do have an Etsy store. It's called Sumbri. Um, if you'd like, you can go ahead and check it out. We will include the link below in the description, but it does have this bag in particular in um, a couple of colors. We do have, I do have a white one, a red one, and a yellow one. So if you were interested in actually buying this because it's beautiful, then check out my Etsy store. So one last important thing that I wanted to mention that I thought might have been really important was the actual design, the quality of the design that I had uploaded from my Procreate to Printify. So like I said before, as long as you stay within the dimensions that are provided for you when laying your design onto a particular product, it should come out really good. That's what I did and it came out really pretty, like I said. Um, they even like send you emails and ask you to adjust something if they think that it won't come out as nice when it's printed. So that's really cool and they kind of work with you to tell you uh, maybe you should work on getting the actual design within the parameters so that way the design can come out the best that it possibly can. And so I'm really impressed. I'm really happy with Printify. I really like that. So that is my review on the Weekender bag from Printify. Like I said, I'm very happy with the product. I love it. I love how it came out. I thought it was perfect. So that, um, I hope that was really helpful to you. Those are basically all the things that I would have wanted to know about a bag that I was using from Printify. So I really hope that you kind of get an idea of what it's gonna be like if you choose to use Printify services. I give it a thumbs up, I think it's great. So like I said before, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome to the tribe if you have not seen any of our videos before. Go ahead and check out that video that I mentioned about the Printify versus Printful, Printful, um, Printful again, very, um, Printful by my love. Yes, so that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. That's it. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>